do you want to get more stuff done? If you do, then you might enjoy this video because this is an emergency video. I keep getting asked by too many people, how do I do it all? And for those of you that are new here, hey, my name is Tom. I help coaches and consultants scale with one simple system. And I get asked all the time and frustratingly, I've been asked too many times recently by my own clients, how do I do it all? Because I'm out here, it's like, it's currently 3.01 p.m. And I average 20,000 steps a day. And I'm out here on an afternoon walk, which I always do uh, because I have time. Despite me doing all the things that people think I'm spending 12 hours a day doing, I'm not. So they ask me, how do you do it? And in this video, I'm going to explain the simple steps and principles that I use to get shit done and some of the tools and tactics that I've used to really turbocharge my productivity and focus in a world where that is the most precious thing that we can hold on to. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button if you want more stuff like this. Okay, let's dive in. Right, Jam, so this is how to become a time master in six simple steps. I'm gonna be breaking this video down into six principles and following tools and tactics that are gonna help you master your time. Firstly, who the hell am I? Uh, my name's Tom Youngs, I'm a creator, I'm a life enthusiast, I'm a qualified biomedical scientist, I'm a qualified cosmetic dentist, I'm a tech consultant, or I have been. Uh, I've also been an agency owner, and I'm now currently a coach. I run Creator Launch. And who is this video for? This is for number one, people who want to escape the rat race. And number two, this is for entrepreneurs who want to take back control of their time. If you're feeling overwhelmed or feeling like you're lacking time, which is really common. So I just wanna give you some reasons why you can maybe trust me on some of this stuff um, or not, absolutely fine if you don't as well. Uh, so I'm a qualified biomedical scientist. Um, I studied the molecular science of muscle hypertrophy from Tom Brady's strength and conditioning coach. This is not me, this is Tom Brady. Um, and yeah, I spent an entire year in a laboratory looking at the scientific molecular study and mechanisms of growing muscle. And when I started university, I looked like this. And then when I finished university, I looked like this. So I learned some things. I then became a dentist and realized that it was everything I didn't want in a career, which made me feel like this four white walls felt like a prison cell. And now I was like, uh, I don't want to do this for 40 years. This sounds like it's going to suck. And after speaking to some other dentists, that was definitely the case. Um, but I learned some stuff. I got my dream job within just a year, which was pretty rare. And so I learned how to work pretty hard. And I then moved on into tech consultancy and I worked with some of the biggest kind of consumer brands in the world, helping their tech teams improve their web design and web experiences for their customers. I then moved into my first entrepreneurship venture, which was running an SMMA agency, always tough to say those letters, uh, where I built communities online for about a year and a half, uh, built that to 40k per month. And then I realized I wanted to do my own thing. So I started Creator Launch, which was helping, which is helping creators massively grow their business. But we're not talking about that today. I work with a ton of really cool people and we have a free community. If you want to join, there's like a thousand creators in there. You can click the link in the description to come and join us at Creator Launch University. But that's not what this is about today. This is about how I do everything I do now. And uh, three years ago, I was stuck in the rat race. I was commuting two to three hours a day. Literally, I would sleep. I would fall asleep on the train because when I'd get on, I would be like, okay, if I just fall asleep, I will wake up at my stop and it will be like, this never happened. <laughs> And I fucking did that for, for years. Um, and I was stuck in an office, but we had free snacks. So I guess that was sick. And that also felt like a prison and it felt meaningless more than anything. Uh, two years ago, I finally escaped, which was super cool. And things have been very different since that. 
I've also since helped lots of other people escape too and become full-time entrepreneurs. This is the first dude, so shout out to Chris, uh, to Steph, who this is a call from two years ago now, just over two years ago when Chris called me. He used to be a plumber and he called me and this he was on the side of the road in Australia whilst I was in the UK, FaceTimed me and was like, dude, I'm going to quit. I'm going to I'm going to go all in. And for the last two years, that's what he's been doing, traveling all over the world and living a life being uh, an entrepreneur, which is super sick. Uh, this is Felipe as well. So Felipe, who I started working with about six months ago, quit his nine to five in New York City, moved to a, a, like a ranch in Brazil and now helps people with his consultancy. And this was just the other day. This is Austin who posted this video in our private community, Freedom Creators, where he sent a message saying, guys, I'm finally doing it. I'm finally going all in on my consultancy which for Austin, to be honest, he could have done this ages ago. But again, there was a lot of fear factor with this. And that is the benefit of working with people who can help kind of push you out of your comfort zone. I keep getting asked this question, though, from both my audience and my clients. They see what I'm doing. They see the content I'm creating, the stuff that I'm doing. And they're like, how do you do it all? And I'm there being like, well, I've let's find out. So that is what this is about. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you how I do it all. So today I'm going to share with you how I do it in six steps. Like I said, this is broken down into six principles and then underlying tools and tactics for each principle. Because the truth is you are at war. You are at war against the biggest corporations in the world trying to keep you broke, fat and dumb. That is the truth. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be rich as fuck jacked and an absolute giga nerd but most importantly i want you to break free this number is a really curious number and it might mean nothing to you but i'm gonna make it mean something to you 67 what is 67 this is the number of hours that you have outside of your nine to five if you do a 45 hour 40 to 45 hour work week and the eight hours of sleep that you get every single night, which I know that ain't the case. But outside of this, you have 67 hours to do whatever you want. And this is what I used to escape. I used these 67 hours, 67 hours, which are more hours than I actually had in my nine to five, I used to eventually reach escape velocity to start my own business and go full time into entrepreneurship. And that's what all of my clients have done, my students have done. They use that time and I'm gonna show you how to do it. You have more hours outside your nine to five than you have in your nine to five. Let that sink in. You have more hours outside your nine to five than you have in your nine to five. When people escape the rat race, they do it because for a short period of time, they sacrifice those 67 hours for their future self. This is what I did. And again, this is what my students did. I remember during COVID, I literally locked my bedroom door so that my roommates and my housemates wouldn't bother me. And I spent all the all the evenings after work working on my first business idea. And this is what I did. This is what Chris did. This is what Felipe did. This is what Austin and all the others who I've helped, who have, who have ever escaped, not just the people I've helped, anyone that has ever made the jump from a nine to five to a full-time entrepreneurship, they had to do this. They went through this period. Okay, so now you know you have the time. Let's turn you into a damn Jedi master of it. Okay, principle number one is get ownership. Time is the only true asset we have. And I learned this lesson when I first read the book Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. Like I, I read this maybe in 2010 when I was in my second degree of dental school studying to be a dentist. And when I read that in this book, it shook me to my core and it was 100% the reason why I'm an entrepreneur entrepreneur now. That Reading that book changed my idea, changed my complete trajectory in my life because all of a sudden I was like, oh, yeah, time really is the only thing we truly have. So here's how to get ownership of your time. Number one, don't live to other people's agendas. 
you need to own your calendar so that you can own your time. What this means is you need to set boundaries and set rules around how people can interact with you. Now, for me, when I was working in my previous jobs in my nine to five, I literally I, on Slack, I would have in my notifications like you can't access me during these certain times. One of the previous ways that I know that Tim Ferriss did this in the four hour work week, which he set up an autoresponder for his email. So if people emailed him, he sent an autoresponder back saying, hey, by the way, I check my emails two times a day just so I can be as maximally productive as possible. So don't expect an, an email back from me within the next 20 minutes. I will get back to you when I check my email. Um, you also need to own your calendar. So I block out time in my calendar so that I don't take calls in the morning. So no one is bothering me in the morning. I also have my phone on do not disturb all the time. I know, mad, right? I'm still here. You need to then get ownership of your attention. You need to not be a short form social media content addicted rat. Now, that may or may not mean something to you. You and only you know how much time you spend on these damn platforms. And remember, these companies are trying everything they can. They have social engineers, they have scientists, they have everyone trying. They are trying to maximize you getting hooked into these apps. And I'm going to show you how I completely just get rid of that. So that is principle number one. Principle number two is you need to get attention. So this is how I've done this. So you need to get back your attention from the evil corpse. So I do this with what I call top and tail protection. This is protecting the first and the last hours of your day at all costs from these attention sucking things. So I use two, well, I use one one clutch thing that has been an absolute game changer for me, and that is a mobile app blocker called Opal. And I also use Unhook, which we'll get into in a second. This is to stop me going down the rabbit hole of watching YouTube, which as a YouTuber who loves YouTube, that is one of the big time sucks for me. So first up, Opal. Now, this is an app that I started using in the past few months, and it has absolutely changed everything for me. Really simple. You set up, uh, you set up kind of like blocks where you can block off the apps that you don't want to use. And so you literally cannot open them. It is super simple and it works really, really, really well. So what I do is in the morning, I block the first four hours of the day from all social media and messaging apps. Instagram, I don't use TikTok anyway, but Instagram, YouTube, um, Slack, WhatsApp, all of that for the first four hours of the day, I literally can't open it unless I go to the app and have to like manually unlock it, which is dumb. Um, so that is really key. This is going to change. If you do this and you also block block your access to these apps past like say 7 p.m., you are going to be operating at a level that 99.9999% of the entire world are not operating at. You will be an absolute Yoda. So that is, if I can like, we'll get to it in a second. So unhook is the free browser extension. This means that when you open up YouTube during the day, which I will typically do, I don't see all my recommended things, which are just for me, these are like, this is like going to the casino and is like the slot machine for me. Like you, this is what really pulls me in and gets me sucked into a vortex. And so simple, I'm sure there are other ones as well for different browsers, but just look for the, look at them and it's really simple. You just toggle this on and off and it stops you. It just has a blank screen. So you can't click on any thumbnails that look juicy. If you do nothing after this video, apart from install and use Opal to block your mornings and evenings from social media and messaging apps, then this video was successful in my opinion. So I would highly recommend getting the full version. I personally think there is no better ROI than the 90 bucks that this, this is going to cost for you. This is not sponsored in any way. There is an Opal link down below that you can use in the description. It just means I can track how many people that I have like uh, I've I have pushed to it, which I'm genuinely, when I say this could be, this is the biggest, the highest ROI thing move that you can make right now. I sent this to a friend the other day when we were chatting, we were uh, out getting drinks and he was saying to me, I'm really struggling with like focus on, on like these apps and stuff. I find myself like staying up really late. So I was like, dude, I've got you. Uh, so he downloaded it, of course. Thanks pal, Opal's working well for me resisting the urge. Like, and he's he deals with like, deal sizes that are tens of millions. And so it's really important for him to get locked into like not sucked into these things. Okay, now if you think that was useful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because why not? Welcome. 
Okay, number three is get clear. You can either spend time, spend your time and it take five years to figure out or you can spend your money and do it in five months. So this is really, this. you are either the type of person who sees investing in yourself as the cheat code or you're not. You're just, you're just watching this and you're not. You want to work, th- figure things out yourself and you get a weird, weird kick from that. I'm not that person. I'm just going to go to the people who are best in the world at it. I'm going to learn from them and I'm going to pay them to learn from them. Firstly, though, you need to read this book, Psycho-Cybernetics. It's this book here. Make sure you've read that. This is the most important book I've ever read. Uh, It's from a cosmetic surgeon written in the 1950s, and it's all about goal setting. And uh, you may or may not have heard other people talk about this. I I constantly am reading this. This is constantly being reread. It's like next to my bed all the time. So read that book. You need to get then get clear on your goals. Only you can come up with what your goals are and that comes from setting some visions for your dreams. Uh, so read psycho get clear on your goals, get clear on your vision. And then my recommendation is get, get someone to help you know what the next steps are, whether that's coaching, mentorship, accountability, well, coaching or mentorship that gets you access to things like accountability. Now, I learned this the other day. I saw this the other day. This guy's Chris Doe, otherwise known as The Future, has the channel The Future, um, is a, if you don't know him, now you do, but you should know him. Uh, but I was listening to a podcast the other day and he said, he w- he was like, yeah, I spent, I spent $3,000 a month on business coaching for the last 13 years nearly half a million dollars in 13 years on the same business coach, by the way. How much have you spent on coaching and getting someone just to tell you these are the next steps? Because these guys, you know, I know Hormozy talked about it as well. Alex Hormozy said he's pumped half a million into his education as well. Um, So anyway, that's just, I think you should get a coach. I think you should get a mentor and you should just find someone out there who's doing what you want to do and get them to teach you how to do it. Uh, it's just going to 5x the speed in which you do it, 10x even. And then one thing that I use all the time is brain dumps. So if I'm feeling like foggy or just not clear on what to do next, I do I go off my gut instinct when it goes to like what to do next. But the best way I've found to do this is just do brain dumps, is to take what's in my mind and then put it out into a big list, just list it out. And whether it's like projects first and then like subtasks that I just go through this and I'll do this a couple of times a week you know, uh, then monthly just to go over the different projects that I'm working on. So brain dumps, I find, are the the fastest way to get clear. Okay, read that book. Number four, we've got get focused. You can either spend your time and it take five years. Are you kidding me? Did I not even? Well, that is a typo, my friends. So you, I'll let you fill in the blanks with a quote there from your favorite whoever. But anyway, get you need to get focused. So this is, uh, first up is your chronotype. You need to find out what type, what chronotype you are. If this is the first time you've done, you've heard about this, my recommendation is just to Google it and you will, you need to find out what chronotype you are. And quite simply, it's like, are you a morning person? Are you an, e- are you a nighttime person? Like early bird or night owl, quite simply. And Key to understand is this does morph over time. When I was a child, when I was a when I was a teenager at university, I would go to the library, stay up till like four a.m. Now I get up at five a.m. So I get up at the time I was going to bed when I was a teenager, and I've changed. I've forced myself to change, and now I love it. And I love it because it gives me three, four hours before everyone else to get work done in the morning. And when people say get up that early, this is especially key for people who have fam- who have families who have kids those if you can get one to two three to four hours of like un like just unfiltered sync like just solo deep work time that's all you need next up this is really simple most people are just like how do i how do i do goal setting how do i how do i kind of like make sure i'm always thinking about goals I've got the absolute simplest way for you to do this. And this is what I do. I write my 10 goals for the month down every single morning before I get to work. Simple. Key to this is don't go look back to the previous day because these, your goals, you'll find, you'll forget about the goals that weren't meaningful to you. So this is going to get you hyper-focused on the things that are really important for you that month. But every morning, write them pen and paper, just, just list them out. Just list them out. Take 15 minutes to list them out and remind yourself of your top 10 goals for the month every morning 
Then I want you to get focused on the one thing for the day. There's a book called The One Thing and again, another book recommendation, but you need to get focused on the single thing that is going to unlock everything else that day and then focus on that. It's the same thing for a week. Get focused on your one thing for the week. And then you need to accumulate focus. This is quietening your mind. And I'm going to show you how I do this. Now, most people don't meditate or do mindfulness practice. That's what meditating is. Not because they don't want to. They know they need to. You know you need to. But it's because they believe that they need to do it in one big chunk, like an hour or half an hour, 45 minutes. And look, no offense to the monks. I'm not going to say this out loud. They are the real G's. They know how to do this properly. But I think there's a more, there is a better way for people to do this. There's, there's a, slip, a slip, more slippery slope for you to get into mindful, mindfulness. And it's by accumulating small increments throughout the day. This is what I do. So this is exactly what I do. So two to five minutes in the shower of breath work, just like deep breathing. Then I go for a 20 to 30 minute walk in the morning before I get to work. Then in the afternoon, I do 20, 30 minutes of walking. I have my one hour of exercise where I think I personally believe exercise is a form of med meditation because it's around breath. You know, you need to focus on breath, on your breath um, and focus on a task that is not the rest of your life. So I think exercise is meditation. So that's one hour there. And then I do 15 to 20 minutes in the sauna. That's breath work and focus. And then I do a 20 to 30 minute guided meditation in the evening. And there you go. This is like two to three hours of mindfulness in a day, pretty damn simply. Uh, so it, don't make the mistake of thinking that you need to sit down and meditate for an hour because that's where, where people trip up. That's the thing that stops people from doing it. Instead, just try and get a little ch little chunks throughout the day, little tiny little pieces, crumbs of mindfulness. And that's why I'm chilled out. Oh, shit. Okay, um, here's some guided meditation that I would recommend. This is some couple of YouTube channels that I follow and I do like 20 to 30 minute guided meditations in the evening. They've been really helpful. So positive suggestion and rising higher meditation. Um, these are a couple of channels that I use and I kind of like go, 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 go pick ones that sound interesting to you. And then if you are not into, if you haven't yet entered the world of quantum physics and manifestation, I would highly recommend you do. Uh, I thought this stuff was woo-woo bullshit until I, I'm a, I'm a scientist, right? And then I actually learned about the science of it. And now I'm like, oh, damn, I wish I found this a lot earlier. I have a full um, audio book for free in my Creative Launch University. Again, you can just get this, access it for free. Just go click the link and join us. And then you can get this uh, full audiobook in there, which is, uh, I would say, probably the most important thing that you could do other than reading Psycho Cybernetics and downloading Opal. Next up, we have Get Energy. Now, again, a massive misconception where people screw up is they, they focus all their energy on the morning routine. All everything is about getting the morning routine right. I need to like do a cold plunge. I need to do all this bullshit. And it's like, no, you need to make sure that you get to bed on time and you get seven to eight hours of sleep. That is what you need to focus on because then when you wake up in the morning, all of the other stuff is just going to be effortless. The nighttime routine takes precedence over the morning routine. Okay. That's a really critical kind of mindset shift that you need to make. And this is where Opal is going to come in clutch for you and is critical in the evenings. Set it so that you cannot access these damn dopamine like slot machines tiktok instagram youtube whatever from like 7 p.m keep your last few hours of the day just sacred and then for the last hour of the day read a book try and read just 10 pages and you will be golden okay now we go into the morning so you've had a good night's sleep now it's the next morning now I do a cold shower, but I don't do, I don't just get in with a cold tap because I tried that once. I had someone who is a, like a coach tell me I should do like a five minute cold shower in the morning. And I did that for two days in a row. And then like cup, like after a couple of days, I just remember like thinking to myself, I was like, why am I miserable today? Like I'm never miserable. Like I'm never, ever, ever like miserable. And today I am absolutely miserable. And I realized this because I spent my first five out five minutes of my day freezing my nuts off in a cold shower and 
that sucked. Like, and so what I do now is I have a warm shower, which I really love. And I think is <laughs> gets me in an amazing mood. And then the last 30 seconds to a minute, I, I turn it to cold and it's totally chill and it wakes me up. Okay. So do that if you, you know, anyway, then I go for a walk. So I go for a walk and I get energy through motion. So I get emotion, energy in motion. So I go for a walk and I get sunlight. If you guys are, you know, if you're into the hoop, like Andrew Huberman stuff, like you'll understand the sunlight thing. Sunlight, get at least 10 to 15 minutes of direct sunlight into the eyes before 10 a.m. Caffeine, ideally stay this off for 30, 60 to 90 minutes after waking. Make sure to have a bunch of water and some electrolytes beforehand. So that's what I have. I have like electrolytes and a little thing. And then I wait at least 60 to 90 minutes before getting my coffee. And in the morning, I do use a two milligram nicotine chewing gum. Um, and I do not go more than that. I accidentally got addicted to those damn like Zin pouches a few months back and I was like popping them like three, three times a day. And they were like six milligrams. Those things are super dangerous. Stay away from those. Just do the lozenges, which are one milligram or the chewing gum, which is two milligram, but they only use it once per day. And that's what I used to get focused and get energy in the morning. And finally it is get to work. So you need to get to work. So this is how we do it. Morning for me is a deep work block. This was the case when I had a job as well. It was like, hey, you can't contact me. You can't, I'm not going to get on calls. I know this is really tough for some people, but if if it's, it just needs to be a minimum of 90 minutes. If you can get a minimum, if you can get 90 minutes of work done before you go to work, if you work at home or before you commute, or whatever, you are going to be moving your life forward faster than you can say, lick the frog, which we're going to get to in a second. How do I do this? Quiet place, noise cancelling headphones, favorite music mix, playlist, get in the zone and just like get after it. Licking the frog is doing the thing that you are feeling most resistance to first. So if there's, if there's something that you know you need to do every day, do that first. And for solopreneurs, by the way, this should be marketing and content focused. This should all be all of your first couple of hours of the day, a few hours of the day should be about getting attention on your business so that you can do lead generation. Whether that's making content, whether that's uh, creating ads, whatever that is, you need to focus the first couple of hours of your day on that stuff. I use to-do lists, really simple. That stuff ain't ever going to fail. Uh, quick to-do list in the mornings to just like go over the mini projects, what I'm going to get done and get clear on what I'm going to get done. Then I block stuff in my calendar. If I have tasks or if I have projects to do, I just open up a calendar and I put a block in. Really simple. And the last thing I'm going to direct you to, because it's out of scope for this, is how to actually plan and structure your weeks, which is full training in itself. And a method that I've used called the three alarms method, where I had literally have three alarms that go off during the day. And it is a signal switch for me to change mode. So if quickly in the morning, I have my, uh, my morning is my like writing, my writer's alarm, and that's the alarm that goes off at 5 a.m. Then my second alarm is at 10 a.m. And that's my athlete alarm. That's when I switch to athlete mode. I close, close the computer and I go to the gym, headphones in, and I think about, I literally, I've got my program up on my phone when I'm walking to the gym and I am thinking about what, smashing that workout on the way to the gym, really getting into the, into the zone. And that's been a game changer for the quality of my workouts um, and my results as well. And then my third alarm is an alarm that goes off at 2 p.m. And this is my communication alarm, my connector alarm. And this is where I turn into a communicator. And this is where I create content. This is where I get on calls with my clients. Uh, this is where I do networking calls, whatever. And this is where I'm, I'm doing that. Okay, not that, that. So there is full, full trainings in uh, Creative Launch University there, uh, which you can get for free. Click the link below and you can get this. And this is, we'll go through the winning the week method, which is based on the book, winning the week. And this is what my calendar looks like. It's batched. So in the mornings I have deep work gym. I go for two hours a day and then I have a kind of mix between sales and client client calls. So I only do client calls on Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons and then enrollment calls, occasional sales calls, um, which I'm slowly moving away from on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I do fun stuff on the weekend. So three alarms method, also training, free training in Creative Launch University. You can go gra grab that. Just come and join us and you can come and see this. It's sick. So that is how you become a time master in six steps. You need to get attention, sorry, get ownership, get attention, get clear, get focused, get energy and get to work. Simple, right? 
And if you want to find out more about how I help coaches and consultants scale their business with one simple flywheel, this is our freedom creator model, then I'm going to point you to the video that's going to be in the corner over there and you can learn about it. Right, that was sexy in the next one.